Welcome to Face to Face, and today we're gonna we're gonna talk about why city. We're gonna talk about what happened with uh, with Occupy after 2012, and I'm with uh, with Dan. Dan, welcome to the show. Hello. It's like I missed you for so many years. I yeah. wanted to catch up, and then it never happened, and then here you are. This is a, this is a perfect situation. This is a to perfect catch up. situation to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> we have a camera. We are in studio. We have light, and yeah. then we are in New York and uh, in M&M studio. Yeah. Welcome for. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It's good to be so here. So what what's happening? What what um, we we work together in many uh, events during the Occupy movement, yeah. and then. Uh, you moved on? Well, uh, I mean, so 2011, yeah. you know, was the Arab Spring yeah. in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, then, and then there was Wisconsin uh, uh, occupation Spain. and then Tour. and Spain so, yeah, and then New York, yeah. you know, here with the yeah. Occupy movement. And yeah. I've been working in, in urban design and in placemaking. Yeah. So, so that's what you, you do mainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I focus on digital engagement, mm -hmm. how to use um, digital technology in an mm -hmm. appropriate way mm -hmm. to get people to participate, um, or to increase the quality and the quantity of authentic participation in community-based urban planning and urban design. Wow. Um, so I, at the time, you know, I was working uh, at Project for Public Spaces, which is a nonprofit mm -hmm. that uh, basically created or started or led the placemaking practice as we know it, mm -hmm. and they had brought me on board to talk about how to improve their placemaking process with appropriate use of technology. Mm -hmm. And so then it, uh, two years you know, into working there, Occupy happened, or just the whole 2011, all of those things. And, yeah. and it was remarkable how they all were using occupation mm -hmm. of public space as a yeah. tactic. Yeah. And so that's exactly what, what our, where my head was yeah. and what I was focused on. Yeah. And then you are using like to become technology, a fish in, <laughs> a fish in aquarium. What, it's like yeah. yeah, I mean, it was it was remarkable yeah. to just kind of see this convergence happening, which is yeah. happening in every sort of sector. Is people are realizing that technology allows us to organize. It's it's rearranging the way that people communicate, and when you change the way that people communicate, yeah. they start changing their behavior yeah. or thinking differently yeah. and working exactly. differently, yeah. collaborating differently. Yeah. 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 Um, so when we were working yeah. uh, together in 2012 mm -hmm. was yeah. after the eviction, yeah. you know, through like a nationwide coordinated effort, mm -hmm. you know, to force Occupy out of these public spaces mm -hmm. around the U.S. Um, in, in many cases, in you know, in violation of a sort of you know uh, constitutional or human yeah. rights. And human rights, yeah. Um, and uh, so then that's when we were doing the Occupy Town Square. Square and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And and working with also I was doing work with the Illuminator, which yeah, is like the exactly. art van, yeah, and yeah. combining those yeah, those yeah, events yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And um, so that you know, it w in many ways, that was like there was a lot of experimentation going on. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. in, in in the urban planning world, there's been a lot of this sort of what's called like tactical urbanism, mm -hmm. or lighter, quicker, cheaper. But the the theme is basically how can we do small artistic interventions or design interventions or um, uh, social interventions in public space to Help. connect people together, yeah, to change. R raise awareness for causes or about their neighborhood. Uh -huh. uh, safety oftentimes mm -hmm. is a major issue mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. cars mm -hmm. or crime or what have you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not often best solved through policing. Mm -hmm. It's often a, pub a lot, in many cases, it's a public space yeah. problem. Yeah. Um, so uh, now, you know, things are just, I mean, now digital is no longer mm, special, right? Because everyone takes it for granted, you know, each year, more and more and more, we just take that for granted as the way that information is shared yeah. and how we connect. Yeah. Um, so things have changed. Things have changed quite a bit since, since, 20, since four years ago. But the change in, in which w good way mm. or yeah? Well, that's a that's a good question. <laughs> so I no, mean, because <laughs> of course it changed. Yeah. But we need to define. I mean, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you will define the change as being? I mean, like in public space, I don't see so much really opening of public space as way of people getting together and be able. I think in more and more complicated. Yeah, I mean, I, I think th so. This is a really important point. Like, um, the when it comes to placemaking, you know, we, when we want to use technology, 
it's not about necessarily adding technology into a public space. It's about using technology to get people to participate to create a public, a better public space. Yeah. Um, so, so that's, that's you know a lot yeah. of the smart city yeah. uh, uh, folks and and those ideas around yeah. the smart city. That's it's like let's add sensors and let's add yeah. you know video and audio and and you know basically. Um, it's kind of almost like an entertainment mentality on yeah. one level, mm -hmm. but also it's surveillance. Mm -hmm. And that, that uh, to me, doesn't really have Bring. much to do with actual community benefit. Yeah. It's oftentimes much more about control yeah. or you know, management. It's a, yeah. very, it's a very technocratic, a very yeah. bureaucratic yeah. Yeah. Uh, idea. Yeah. No, I thought the problem with the, uh, um, the participation, budgeting participation uh -huh. project. It's very budgeting, yeah. And I see it, it was, very old, old style, yeah, yeah. Um, and and kind of complicated, yeah. um, without really. Um, um, I mean, I think a lot of people were interested at the beginning, but the process mm. was terrible. I mean, it was really well. This is the you know. So it's been. I was on the steering committee at the beginning yeah. with the participatory budgeting project, yeah. and. Um, and that was before this. You know, now the city of New York officially supports it. Yeah, and there's yeah. a you know there's staff. Oh yeah, yeah, no, they have staff. They have, yeah, it's a big um, deal. But I, I think you know part of the thing that we're seeing in the U.S. is mm -hmm. uh, when when people are asking for more input, and participatory budgeting is a good method. Mm -hmm. But when you start, when citizens start getting involved and seeing sort of how the sausage is made, you know. Um, you realize, oh, this is how complicated it is to change an intersection, you know, to change a bus shelter. And so there's literacy that gets built because then people understand how the city's actually made and designed. Um, and then, but there's also, in, in a lot of these projects, there is this issue of participation fatigue yeah. where, you know, then people start saying, well, well, can't we just have someone who we trust make decisions for us? Yeah. So there's this, you know, right now, this so is a big I theme. Is yeah, this I give you an representation example. versus direct yeah, democracy. Exactly. We yeah. did, uh, we did a, a van, we, we rent a Euro van, and uh -huh. we were doing exhibition uh -huh. into the van. So we parked the van into a uh, uh, plaza or mm. whatever, and, mm -hmm. we, and we did it. Uh, and it worked very well. I mean, people were coming into the van, For looking at the- For participatory budgeting? No, 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 oh, no, okay, no. so okay. before that. Ah, uh -huh. So, and then the budget participatory gets into my neighborhood, so I say, let's get a van that people can use yeah. and organize exhibition, organize yeah. tour of, of, you know, even if we have to combine with the library, we can do a com kind of combination between the that library and this one. That sounds great. That sounds great, but <laughs> I mean, it didn't go anywhere. You mean it, there wasn't support for doing that, or? Well, it was a little bit complicated because the van, whose organization going to host the van, and where is going to be the hosting, and then who's going to uh -huh. be responsible, and who's going to drive it, and mm. what type of insurance, and the money has uh, to come in, and then, and then the end up like, it, it became mm. like, uh, instead mm. of being becoming a, a, a call for who's going to be interested, it became like a, a, a block road of every yeah. step of the road, and then, at the end of the day, I don't even see he went through the... I mean, that was the top, one of the top of the issues yeah. putting there. And at the end, he didn't even go to the voting process. So huh. in, in, in two months, we, th we went from the yeah. honeymoon to uh, the yeah, divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like it was a quick... <laughs> yeah. quick I mean, so that, 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 uh, that's a great story yeah. because it, this happens in a lot of communities, yeah. which is people get... They wake up yeah. and they say, "Oh, we can get involved, yeah. and we want to. We want to have our voice heard, and we want to give creative answers. Yeah. You know, we want our creativity." Yeah. Um, so that was a creative, unique, yeah. idiosyncratic yeah. idea. And it was done, and you worked. And you've done and it we before, even. We have right? photos. Yeah. Uh, we show the photos with everything, and yeah. and it didn't. It didn't. Go. So this is this dilemma of governance. Yeah. You know what? So we, you know, part of the th challenge that's happening right now is when formal government you know, um, the elected officials get involved or city departments and they want to be more participatory, their existing policies actually don't enable it because then it comes into yeah. insurance. No, What's but the, that you know, I have another example. The plaza, to, 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 to do mm. something on the plaza yeah. in New York City, you have big development of plaza. Yeah. So we are uh, part of a coalition for uh, supporting the peace process in Colombia. Right, right. And we want to do an event. How do you do an event? So you need to do 30 days before. Mm -hmm. I mean, first, yeah. I mean, what do you know what's going to happen in 30 days before for this type of situation? You yeah. know. 
And two, you mm -hmm. need an organization who have an IEIN number with uh -huh. the state recognized right. organization. And then right. so coalition like us yep. doesn't fit the profile. So yep. we, we, we end up in, in situation where we, we can even use a plaza yep. for doing stuff like that, where exactly. it's absolutely done for this type of event. Yep. I mean, it's, it's talking to the community about issue of the community who have people very concerned with, uh, with that issue. Yep. And then we end up not be able to, able to use it. So yep. uh, I think it's a long road before we... <laughs> we well, we I mean, yeah, I mean, it seems like that, that there's a long road but I, I mean, this is part of the crisis right now that a lot of people who are in govern, government, um, it, it, there is a, uh, a sort of a gap that exists where, you know, there, there's so much energy focused on participation through technology as like, let's have technology mediate the way that people participate to get ideas. And, but instead there's a lot of other things like this example, which is how do we change the policies so that government can be more responsive because so much of the, a lot of the technology or the technocratic thinking um, in government is about predicting, right? So much more advanced planning or predictive models. There's all of this um, energy focus on that rather than how can you have, you know, uh, permits given in three days instead of 30 days? You know, how can you have informal organizations that don't have a nonprofit status or a tax status um, be responsible because there's a lot. I mean, that's the that's the social fabric. Yeah. A lot of the neighborhoods are in a, informally governed yeah. uh, or, or led by these very informal associations. I'm always associations. part of informal story. I, yeah. I, I run uh, the voting right campaign for legal immigrants in New York City. It was an informal campaign yeah. for ten years. I mean, yeah. how do you do, uh, how you organize this coalition of very strong organization? Yeah. But the, the structure of the coalition itself doesn't necessarily. Uh, mm -hmm. fits uh, the profile of being so I mean no no but that, I mean we just we agree yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean but it, it's it's I mean but this but it's interesting I mean the this frustration that happens so this is part of the dilemma that right now is I feel that there is a um, uh, uh, a very tricky period in this embrace of participation in technology so there's a lot of people in government who are like, yes, 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 let's go do this. But they're not thinking wisely, you know, about how to enable this. Well, that's where so then what happens yeah. is there's going to be, in, at times, there's backlash. Because then people say, well, you promised this type of participation, and we volunteered, and we organized, and we came with all of this energy and goodwill. Yeah. And then you said no, and no, and no, or not now, and later. You know, and so then it instantly breaks a lot of goodwill, and then it goes back to the um, sort of vicious cycle of government doesn't understand, and the government thinks the community is, you know, a pain in the butt, and and that's and but the real problem is there isn't a, a policy, there aren't policies in place for having a much more fluid um, uh, relationship between informal and formal. And I think that's a problem of the public sector yeah. because you, when you go to the private. The guy tell you no, yes. He tell you yes, and it's how much? Mm. That's the next question, mm. and then you are done. Yeah, yeah. And then if the guy say no, I cannot do it, and I, it's too expensive, you go next door, and then you have choices. I mean, the choice mm. become become uh, uh, where in the public, right? It's 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 kind of a kind of for that type of situation, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of complicated because mm -hmm. if you don't fit the profile, and to fit the profile, you need to have done so many steps. I mean, it, yeah. it's like. Yeah, who's going to do that? I mean, yeah. it, it, it's, it's a big know, barrier. It's a big really big barrier. barrier. So I think it's it's here. It's a gap between the possibility and and the space and uh, and really the the, the, um, the technology doesn't resolve that issue. And exactly. And then exactly. you cannot make it believe that that's going to resolve the issue. Right. I mean, so yeah. they do to register an event on the plaza. Yeah. The calendar. It doesn't. If you have to go thirty days before. Yeah. So you have no, yeah. you cannot do for two weeks. Yeah. And then somebody call you and say, you know, it's normally 30 days, but two weeks, why it's two weeks? I mean, no, it, it, you yeah. cannot register yeah. if you don't have the right, uh, so it, it's become. Yeah, become the, I mean, this is a, a, a very famous example that happened in San Francisco. Yeah. Um, the city planning department created an online uh, form so that people could apply to reserve a 
a football field, exactly. a soccer field. Exactly. And so then all of the technology startup folks started using it. Yeah. But the way, but what the city didn't do is they didn't basically use basic ethnography, basic, you know, neighborhood research to find out that the way that these local parks are governed mm -hmm. is through informal teams and informal communities and families that book and kind of arrange the use of that public space mm -hmm. informally. Yeah. And so there was this famous video, you know, where the tech bro, you know, mostly white, very wealthy, you know, uh, um, new neighbors came to show up to the park and they said, hey, we reserved it, we booked it online. And the local kids had no idea about this, who are mostly Latino. Um, and they were like, what are you talking about? That's not how you, that's not how this works. So th like that yeah. video is, is, an, is another example of yeah. this collision where the technocratic yeah. idea yeah. Um, is actually counterproductive. But, but, but it's, it's done by, it, that's what they want to do. They, mm. they want to, rather, to not have the discussion and make the technology filter the, the story. And I know it yeah. by other, other places where yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it happened for us uh, in an, where I work. And uh -huh. it's, it's, they had a big problem and they say we're gonna move it online, so we know yeah. it's gonna deal with the issue. Yeah, I mean, in some cases there is like a knowing um, uh, sense of control that it's being used. You know, sometimes it's, it's um, there's a sort of innocent naivete where they people are using technology and, and they mean yeah, I'm well. Too old for this. Well, yeah, I'm but, <laughs> but in, in many cases, it's it's also just a there's a it's an inherent distance. Yeah, yeah. There's a sense of separation, yeah, so yeah. we don't need to concern ourselves with the details yeah. of that community yeah. because we're not even really thinking yeah. about them. And so that's kind of what part of like what I'm doing now yeah. is um, uh, we're we're with some other colleagues in Australia and then yeah. with Project for Public Spaces we're okay. starting the Digital Placemaking Institute okay. to basically gather all of these different practitioners who are aware of these issues and basically what we want to you know put together is there are wise ways to use technology there okay. are legitimate authentic um, politically conscious ways to use technology that can actually help equity mm -hmm. and social justice mm -hmm. and participation. Mm -hmm. um, and we, but we, we're doing it, we're experimenting, mm -hmm. and, but we're all very in silos or isolated. Mm -hmm. And so we wanna create a, a professional or organization uh -huh. to basically share practices to and then also lead that discussion um, in a different direction than the way a lot of the smart city folks are, are leading it, which is in this kind of down this path of uh, sort of what is it, you know, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. A lot of it's in that direction of this very technocratic approach. Um, and we need to, we need, there needs to be an intervention in that because it's a lot of it's about policy and bringing in uh, social ethics and social justice uh, dimensions into that policy and also just understanding technology better because yeah. every technology, yeah. back to the question that you yeah. had before was, um, all technology brings benefits and that's mostly what everyone focuses on, and that's what all the marketing focuses on. Yeah. But there's also um, big, costs, big cost and there's also transformations that affects other things. Yeah. It, it disrupts other things yeah. that weren't even intended. Yeah, yeah. But that that all is can be analyzed. That mm -hmm. can be known. Mm -hmm. um, and and that's a more to me a more ethical approach to technology mm -hmm. is looking at all the different f like five or six dimensions that it affects society. It isn't just pros and cons. It also has. Um, uh, secondary and, and, and tertiary, you know, first and second and third and fourth level uh, effects, and we need to be wise about being honest about how those are done, and that can be that can be done in the same amount of time that it takes to get any technology decision to happen. It's just about choosing having to be a, a different, yeah. uh, having a different value. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. We're running out of okay. time. I'm a producer. We just. <laughs> <laughs> We need to cut it. That was the show for today. Thank you all very much all for right. coming. Uh, please keep uh, watching and uh, check your news on Presenza.com. And we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much.